Hello, this is Christos, and welcome to the second part of the uh, animation uh, video. Um, at this part, uh, I will show you the converter that I created to export all the animations and uh, the bones from the files. Uh, there was a problem there, like too many problems. One of them was mostly due to um, every skeleton that I had I came across had like its unique structure. For example, the humanoid had like three root bones. Uh, the teddy bear had one and the soldier had none so uh, what do you do with that? I, I added uh, kind of like a special um, hacky kinda uh, variable here um, so basically um, if it's a teddy or a soldier uh, I do this also this is due to uh, the humanoid having double um, all its keyframes were doubled for some reason so basically I had to skip every second frame so to do that, I had to also have a uh, because I only had to do it for that one. Um, so um, uh, I follow this pretty much the same procedure. I create uh, vectors and hold all the data, and then come back to the main function after all the calls and write those vectors into my structures, and then write my structures as buffers into uh, a file. Export that file, put it in my engine, and there is an extractor there, which basically does the reverse of this process here and it reads everything into the engine. Um, I Basically I kept the, um, as you can see here in the animation, I, I kept uh, Keenan's um, output style, so basically you can export the code. Uh, I have at this point inside my bone hierarchy, I have everything that is um, getting the names fixed to be, um, to be you know, uh, usable as variables uh, off at this point because uh, they were messing up the uh, hierarchy of the uh, of the tree uh, some bones just lose too many letters and uh, look way too much like other bones so um, here uh, I'll walk you through everything first I uh, followed the animation um, into the comment where I extract the names of the animations and um, I only keep one layer for its animation I can't handle a double layer uh, at this point um, I uh, in the beginning I just extract the names and their number and I create three positions as you can see here in my vector and then I go to the higher C I um, count all the bones and I skip counting all the bones that have like certain keywords for dummy nodes and uh, their other references and not skeleton bones um, this was a really cool thing it, it allowed me to screen out a lot of fake bones uh, and then I just walk through everything and um, using the same screening process and basically the number of bones uh, I basically write every bone inside this bones vector list and um, as you saw uh, I export it into the file uh, last but not least I do I go here inside the display animation um, this uh, thing that I found on the forums was really helpful uh, thank you guys, it really helped me uh, get off that problem with not extracting the second animation. Um, and yeah, then I go through like here, I cut the um, uh, I cut the keyframes in half for the doubled ones, and uh, here I process the double uh, route so I can go to the first node uh, immediately. And um, the, the other problem was that not every bone has a, a curve, so that screening was kind of impossible. So I kind of like uh, followed my um, intuition here, and uh, because I already have the bone list, I just took every bone that is coming in and screened it through that list. It takes time, but it's offline, so we don't care. And uh, with this, basically, I uh, I don't get any bones that would affect uh, the number and uh, our dummy bones that I don't want. So um, after doing all this. I can simply, um, I can simply go to my um, uh, where is it? File. Uh, here it is. Um, there's a batch file here, and uh, if you run it, um, it simply uh, exports the humanoid, the teddy bear, and the soldier into their SPU files. It deletes after it, uh, so basically it has no problem. Um, some small problem that I uh, observed after uh, t taking this video over and over is that it kind of slows down my system so basically the animation kind of appears a bit laggy 
for some reason. Uh, you can see here the teddy bear animation and uh, with the E button you can swap through animations and with the L button you can reset them to their beginning over and over. It's kind of funny. Um, the R, R and F uh, buttons um, uh, increase and decrease the speed. Um, biggest problem, as you can see here, it slows down. It's because uh, for some reason the encoding for um, this video kind of like uh, screws with um, everything and I don't know why but it works. Um, this is the teddy bear so basically the two animations from the teddy bear uh, I can spit it up a bit I guess without messing it up but yeah the problem is that um, with this thing encoding it, oh yeah there you go if you if the the calculations go out of scale it kind of disappears because I'm guessing it's the timer and everything else so um, let's walk you through this here um, um, if you run it yourself you'll see that um, it runs perfectly by itself um, the, 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 the classes I created were uh, basically the animation skeleton which is the extractor uh, it only calls um, it, you only have to initialize an animation uh, skeleton and then call the extract and the extract will basically call everything else you need and uh, extract all the data uh, you can see here a skeleton and animation it extracts everything um, it creates the bone tree in here um, basically the bones uh, as extracted before from the FBX hold uh, the name the, their name their index and their parent name the parent name is cannot be um, cannot be a dummy node uh, because I kinda swapped through that uh, into my previous um, scripts so basically avoid uh, traps like that it took me some time to understand it um, then I create the animations I simply extract everything from the buffer uh, into this animation uh, I make a, um, a number of animations array for this and then simply go into um, my animation class um, which is being held by the image skeleton and uh, I initialize it uh, the animation class holds the keyframes, the number of um, you see the bones, and I also added because I didn't I didn't like the buckets that much. I added a a current keyframe um, that kind of like um, this current keyframe is kind of like the head for the buckets, and the in this is a, its uh, index, the current frame, and th I use this to manipulate the data that come in. Um, so that I can progress through the animation. Um, I tried to do the reverse animation but it didn't work. I can only speed it up, speed it down and reset it. Um, I'm guessing there's some kind of calculation that's going on in here that I don't understand with the time. At the time it was kind of complex in my opinion. I, I need to make my own if I need to pro if I want to progress this. It would certainly help me out a lot. Um, here is how you set the animation data. Uh, I created, um, because I couldn't export vectors into buffers, it wouldn't allow a 16-bit uh, write, uh, so I exported the X and Y and Z for every vector and quad, and then here I reconstruct them, because that's what we use to um, in the pyramid object to do the, to do the transformations. Uh, I updated the transforms in here, um, and everything is working here you can see I'm getting the current animation and current key bones and uh, do the transformations that I want um, it, it works pretty fine um, I, I probably have enough time to show you I already have in the um, uh, soldier uh, bones uh, in. and um, let me do this It animates, but for some reason the whole um, uh, the whole thing is kind of like messed up because um, it 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 simply doesn't um, it simply doesn't like um, the the hierarchy. It probably some dummy node is causing all the issues there, and um, I don't think I have enough time for this to run. I will try and make an attempt for it. I don't think. Did I forget something? No, I didn't. Here you go. It's 
it's gonna miss.